middle portion of November when maybe snow will be flying. Well, Ooh. as a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, speaking of change, there may be a couple Ooh. of changes in the forecast oh. next week. The oh. models are kind of hinting at oh. that, Natalie. Before you start getting mm. too excited, okay. you start uh, waxing up your skis. It is kind of nice to see uh, still a little bit of snow there on the backside of Bogus Basin. But that was all courtesy of the storm system that we had last week. Now that storm, of course, is gone and we've seen just massive area of high pressure holding on to much of the western states. And the end result is blue skies and sunshine. With the temperature reading right now, that is the high so far today, 61 degrees. So we've been struggling to see average high temperatures for this time of the year. And the reason is the flow has been very gently coming in out of the northwest. And so with the northwesterly flow, Temperatures are going to be cooler than normal. So there is weather that's happening across the southern tier of states. Look at this line of very persistent rain that stretches from the mid-Atlantic states right on down into the Gulf Coast, right on down here into Texas and New Mexico, and even some shower and mountain snow has been affecting the state of Arizona. Now we're bone dry, but that could be changing later on. 65 degrees will be the high temperature tomorrow. Average highs are finally going to start warming up here to near 70 degrees by Sunday. There's the average temperature reading of 65 degrees for this time of the year. So the giant ridge of high pressure is acting like a storm blocker with its sinking suppressive air that keeps pushing the clouds and uh, all the storms away from us. As long as the high pressure is in place, the pattern is going to remain virtually unchanged. So dry high is going to continue all the way through the weekend, but we're going to be watching this. The models are saying, hey, don't forget to look up here in the Gulf of Alaska because something's going to be brewing up there, and that something could bring the possibility of a chance of showers around the middle of next week. It's certainly something we'll be watching in the days to come. But for right now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the incredible weather for the next five to six days, and then maybe around the middle of next week, we could see a little moisture with the possibility of some kind of a front coming back to the region. But look at those temperature readings by this weekend approaching the upper 60s and near 70 degrees. The blue skies and sunshine sticks around for the Long Valley as well, with high temperatures in the low 60s tomorrow, hitting the mid 60s this weekend. And even Monday looks pretty nice. And then again, a chance of some showers around the middle of next week. Remember this in February. It's exactly. Yeah. yeah, you can say that again. All right. Coming up.